take the quick the kick. Very vocal during the week. The captain, Alicia Eva, about last week's performance. Said it simply wasn't good enough. It's Mimi Hill changes direction. Dangerous kick. Yeah, you've got to be happy early with um, two entries. 15 today at a career high 14 disposals. In round three against the Swans has got all of that. Big start for the Giants. She's six for six, getting a real clear hand on that. So got to be on their tucker there with those mids just sharking that ball. There's Vessio playing in front. Marks just on 50. Sends it towards Gab Pound in game number 50. Was out of position. It's done a good job to get the ball to ground, though. Took on three Giants. And that's a good result for the Blues. From almost directly in front, the fifth Carlton player to pass 50 games. She starts it on a good note. And just, and just to reinforce that, that ruck dominance, four hit outs. So a goal apiece. Good start to this game for both teams. McAvoy off the back of the square, heads forward. Vessio gathers, handballs to Moody on the move. Pushes it wide. Wants to get back onto the preferred side and can't, so handballs instead. And Jody Hicks hoists it over her shoulder. Yeah, Fantastic well mark. Well Standing in the hole, Zali got Goldsworthy. Tried to flip that one over her shoulder. Lily Goss has come away from that a bit sore. Already has the shoulder tape. We'll keep an eye on that one. The Giants are playing with momentum. Nicola Barr. Long, strong, but not quite there. There's Lala Weefy back onto the ground. Look at her shortly. Sarika, big bone jarring tackle. A little toe poke forward from Eva. Now Nicola Barr. Handballs into the pocket. Mowbray can't reel that in. Eva from the boundary line. Kept it alive. Garnett sat off, waited for the handball. Now shares the Giants can kick their second, and they do. Her kick, only as far as defensive 50. Garnett's having a good second quarter. Pokes a pass into the pocket. It rolls all the way to the line and the Blues escort it over. O'Day shoves her opponent out of the way. Bounces off the chest of Pound. Here's that corridor action once more for the Giants. Bart turns around and kicks on a non-preferred. Through the fingertips of Moody and to the advantage of Mowbray. Rolling ball inside their forward 50. Staunton went low. And today it's working for them. So this time from directly in front. Liked it as soon as it left the boot. It's going to be taken just outside her scoring range, perhaps. She pops it up to a dangerous area for Carlton. Mimi Hill trips in front and takes the mark. Oh, day. McKay ducks back inside, has got runners around. Pound one of them. Paddled the ball to her advantage, kicks quickly. And another chance goes begging. Pound's kick went straight up and down. Brassendale gets a second chance. That works out okay. Oh, wet weather footy, you've got to start playing in front now. Ball always drops short. Garnet. And keep your feet. To Staunton. Tackles Lalo Ife and wins that battle. Uh, that's the way you've got to play. You've almost got to play on her like she's the fourth. Cora Staunton, this to make life very difficult for the Blues. Is it there? It is! In that back region, Staunton will finish up with the football. Gets one high for her troubles. All smiles for the Giants.